Hi everybody. I have these mat boards that I got from Hobby Lobby. $5.99 for 35 sheets, 12 by 12. They're thicker than a poster board and you can do pours on them. You can practice your pours on them and uh, after they dry you can use them and cut them up and make flowers with them and jewelry and just all kinds of things. So uh, we're going to experiment with different techniques and see what we can come up with on these things. One side will be one color and then the other side will be white. So they do come in different colors. I'm going to use these little caps for my paint to put under it to keep it from sitting in paint and get absorbing the liquids from getting too wet. After these dry, they will be warped a little bit. Put them between two baking pans or just set a baking pan on top with something heavy on top of the baking pan uh, and that'll flatten them out. Just leave it for a few days and they'll be flat. I have all these extra paints that are left over for the things. I'm trying to use them up. Some have silicone and some don't. Don't really have anything in mind here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to stop there. That one's pretty cool. Okay, this is dry. So let's add just a little bit of bling to it. This is black glitter glue you get from Walmart. It just gives it a little bit more detail. I'm using a toothpick to spread it around a little bit where it's all connected good. To me this looks something like a geode. Let's add to it. See what we can do to pizzazz it. See how it picks up the, the blues? Magnifies them. I love working with different mediums. Does it look like a geo to you guys? I think it does. That's all I'm doing to that. I'm going to keep this one simple. When it dries, it'll look totally different. <laughs> 